Good evening, sports fans. Recalled Rakeem Cornwall starred with a five-wicket haul as Barbados Royals crushed St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots by nine wickets at Kensington Oval to book a spot in the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League playoffs. Enjoying the spin-friendly surface, Cornwall claimed five for 16, and as the Patriots' batting order lost seven for 31 and were bowled out for 110 in the last over to fall well short of a competitive total. In form opener, Quinton de Cock, who scored 59 not out off 38 balls, was unstoppable as the Royals mowed down the target in the 12th over. The Royals, 5 for 1, cemented their spot at the top of the CPL ladder, while the Patriots' bid for a playoffs berth is all but over. Meanwhile, England international Chris Jordan will join the Trinbago Knight Riders for the remainder of the 2024 season. The experienced all-arounder will replace USA international Ali Khan, who was forced to withdraw from the tournament due to injury. Jordan previously, previously represented the Knight Riders in the 2019 edition of the CPL, taking seven wickets in five matches. The Guyana Amazon Warriors have also signed leg spinner Nathan Souter as a temporary replacement for Imran Tahir, who is also currently recovering from injury and is expected to be unavailable for approximately 10 days. CPL action continues this evening with the four-time winners Trinbago Knight Riders clashing with the defending champions Guyana Warriors. The game time is 7 p.m. right here on GBN Television. Three matches were played today in the girls' division of the Star Malt Secondary Schools Football Tournament League. St. Mark's Secondary School came up against Grenville Secondary School at Alston George Park. Anglican High School played host to Boca Secondary School in Tantine, while St. George's Institute battled J.W. Fletcher in Tempe. Tomorrow, Thursday, is also set to be a very busy day in the junior boys' division. Grenada Christian Academy will host J.W. Fletcher at Pearls, and Grenada Boys Secondary will entertain St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary in Tantine. Meanwhile, Grenville Secondary School will play Wester Hall Secondary at Victoria Park with St. David's Catholic Secondary suiting up for Grenada SDA Comprehensive at the Bellevue Playing Field. Among the other matches on the card tomorrow is McDonald College and St. John Christian Secondary who will play at Rose Hill in St. Patrick. St. George's Institute and the Presentation Brothers College will travel to Tempe Playing Field and the other matches on the day will feature St. Mark Secondary against Boca Secondary at Alston George. With St. Rose Modern Secondary lacing up against Happy Hill Secondary inside Cuthbert Peters Park. Now also in football action, organizers of the GCIC 2024 intersector football season are dotting the I's and crossing the T's in preparation for the inaugural tournament next week. Matches are set for Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays and 16 teams have already registered for the tournament. The tournament will be played in a round robin format with a double header carded for match day one. And that's what's been happening in the world of sports.